Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Raj Dandekar and uh, I've graduated with a PhD from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Uh, I did my PhD in machine learning and graduated in 2022. Before that, I did my B.Tech or my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from IIT Madras. I'm making this video to discuss about a paper which was published one or two days back. And I thought this paper introduces some key concepts which need to be discussed. The paper is titled in a very interesting manner. The title of this paper is Chat GPT is Bullshit. Uh, that's literally the title of the paper and it was published in a very prestigious journal. Since this paper was published, it, it has led to a huge number of comments and discussions on Reddit, etc. And I just wanted to explain what this paper says in a very easy to understand manner. So that everyone uh, who has subscribed to this channel and other users as well really understand what's the main point of this paper. So first when I read the title, I thought that uh, the title is just to attract the readers and it's a clickbait title, right? So the paper might not be in too much depth, but I was fairly surprised to see that it's it's a very well argued and a well written paper. So the main premise of the paper centers around hallucinations made by large language models like ChatGPT. When I say hallucinations, I mean the mistakes which ChatGPT makes. All of you must have tried giving some inputs and sometimes chat GPT produces completely random answers, completely wrong answers, answers which are not related to your question at all. So let me uh, start by giving off an example. Uh, just before making this video, I went to GPT 4O and I asked GPT 4O, can you can you provide details on the 2015 study by Dr. Jane Smith on machine learning? This is completely random. I am. I have no idea who Dr. Jane Smith is and I have no clue whether Dr. Jane Smith published a paper in 2015. In fact, there is no such paper. Uh, still, Chad GPT answers that the 2015 study by Dr. Jane Smith focuses on exploring advanced topics in the field, including deep learning architectures and reinforcement learning. Dr. Smith's research uh, highlights the importance of feature engineering, data preparation, etc. Uh, chat GPT also mentions for further details on her study, you can refer to sources. So here you can already see that this text is completely made up. Uh, there is no such thing which actually exists. And this is, this was traditionally called as hallucinations. Uh, I, I asked it, can you give me the link to this study? And then chat GPT says that I was unable to find a specific study, but this whole answer, which was constructed by chat GPT is. Uh, is wrong. It does not exist. The study does not exist. And these type of answers were termed as hallucinations. The main point of this paper, chat GPT, uh, the main point of this paper, chat GPT is bullshit, is that we should not call these errors or we should not call these mistakes as hallucinations. Instead, we should use the term bullshit. And they argue that it's very important to make this distinction. The whole paper is about this argument that why we should call these mistakes by chat GPT as bullshit rather than hallucinations. So uh, before we dive deeper into the concept of why chat GPT wrong answer should be called bullshit, um, there is a very famous book which is titled On Bullshit. It was released in 2005 by the American philosopher Harry Frankfurt. And uh, this research paper uses this definition of bullshit. I'll come to that in a in a in a minute. So uh, all research papers, I believe, all good research papers can be summarized in one or two sentences. And I believe that uh, when we when it comes to this research paper, this line over here actually summarizes everything which the authors have to say. Uh, the authors say that the problem here isn't that large language models hallucinate lie or misrepresent the world in some way it's that they are designed they are not designed to represent the world at all instead they are designed to convey convincing lines of text that's the main uh, idea which the authors have so keep this in mind and now uh, i am going to talk a bit about the three terms or the three terminologies 
which are very important to understand the paper. The first terminology is that of hallucinations. Let me switch to a pen here. The first terminology is hallucinations. The second terminology is bullshit. And the third terminology is lies. So uh, hallucinations is what people call when chat GPT makes mistakes while perceiving true claims. And the authors are challenging this part. Before understanding the challenge, we need to understand what, what it means by bullshit and what is meant by lies. So when we look at lies, it means that someone knows the truth but is deliberately trying to hide it. And when we look at bullshit, the main difference between lies and hallucinations and bullshit is that when we look at bullshit, it means that we do not care about the truth at all. Uh, so if you look at hallucinations, the assumption is that the person or in this case chat GPT is pursuing true claims. So there is some care for the truth and chat GPT makes mistakes. Those are called hallucinations. Even in lying, there is a concern for the truth. The person knows the truth but deliberately hides, hides it. Bullshit on the other hand is something completely new. It means that the person does not care about the truth at all. So it can be summarized in these two figures here. In the bucket one, we have the terminologies concerned with the truth. In hallucination, we are after the truth, but we make mistakes. In lying, we know the truth, but we hide it. In bullshit on the other hand, you do not care about the truth at all. Uh, let us see the differences between lying and bullshit through two simple examples. So let's say the scenario is that the student has not completed uh, his or her homework. If the student says that I did my homework but I forgot it at home, this is an example of lying. Because the student knows the truth but they are de deliberately trying to make the teacher believe that they did the homework. So this is lying definitely. But on the other hand, if the student says something like this homework isn't really that important. What's important is that I'm participating in the class and I'm understanding the material. If the student says this, this is a classical example of bullshit. Because in this case, the student isn't concerned with the truth at all. They are not even concerned about the truth of their homework status. But they aim to persuade the teacher by downplaying the importance of doing homework itself. So here you can see that the student is trying to essentially persuade the teacher, but they are not caring about the truth at all. Uh, let's see the politician making a campaign speech. So I have already secured funding for all the new projects. If a politician says like this, it's clearly a lie because they have they know that they have not secured the funding. But if the politician says that our city will become the greatest city in the country if you elect me, uh, this is bullshit because the politician does not have any concrete plan or evidence. Their aim is to persuade the voters regardless of the truthfulness of the statement. So here the politician doesn't care about truth at all. What the authors are arguing is that when chat GPT hallucinates such as the response which is given here, we should not call it hallucination. Instead responses like these should be called as bullshit. That's the main argument which is presented in the paper. So uh, I hope you understood the difference between lying, hallucinating and bullshit. Uh, I agree with the authors when they said that chat GPT has no understanding of the real world model. So for example, in this part, the chat, the authors say that chat GPT are not designed, is not designed to represent the world. So they are not designed to represent the world at all. Large language models are not designed to represent the world. Instead, they are designed to convey convincing lines of text. So why are we assuming that these large language models are behind truth in some way? There is no concern for truth at all. If the large language models are based in a representation of the world, then we can say that they are perceiving truth. But they are just designed to give the next line of text, right? So large language models are just designed to do this. If you have the input, you you generate the output, you generate the next word based on the probability distribution. That's it. That's the main uh, idea behind large language models. They are not really behind the pursue of pursuit of truth. So if large language models are not behind the pursuit of truth, we cannot say that they are in bucket one. They are in bucket two because they do not care about the truth at all. 
and that's why the authors say that when chat gpt makes mistakes we need to call out the bullshit instead of saying that chat gpt is just hallucinating uh so the real question which the authors have posed is that should we continue using the term hallucinations and uh, viewers who are watching this i would love to engage in a discussion with what all of you think because i feel that th- this terminology has lot of implications since chat gpt is revolutionizing fields such as law healthcare etc we need to make sure the terminology is used are correct so that we give due importance to the technology if chat gpt is not designed to represent the world we cannot say that it's pursuing true claims and it makes mistakes sometimes and we say it's hallucinations that's what the authors are arguing and uh, i hope i have conveyed this to you in an easy and an interesting manner uh, finally what i did is i went to chat gpt itself and i asked chat gpt that uh, okay here is the book called on bullshit so i told chat gpt that here is this book called on bullshit which is written by the philosopher harry frankfurt and here's what the philosopher says about bullshit so the philosopher says that the liar cares about the truth and attempts to hide it but the person who bullshits doesn't care at all about the truth they doesn't care they don't care if what they say is true or false and uh, then i ask chat gpt that look at this definition of bullshit do you think chat gpt is a liar or a bullshitter when it is hallucinating so chat gpt itself says that chat gpt would be considered as a bullshitter uh because it when chat gpt generates information that is not accurate or hallucinates it does so without an understanding or the concern of the truth and uh, by this definition chat gpt would fit frankfurt's definition of bullshit so chat gpt itself answers are like this so as a summary uh, the author mentions three terminologies hallucinations bullshit and lies and the authors argue that chat gpt are not meant to represent the world they are in fact just designed to predict the next word in a sentence so we cannot say that they are behind the pursuit of truth and since we cannot say that they are behind the pursuit of truth all large language models cannot be put in bucket 1 but we need to put them in bucket 2 which is uh bullshit and uh, which is the bucket where the large language models do not care about truth at all thank you so much everyone uh, we'll be putting out many such videos about modern research papers and modern technology and where the world is headed um would love to get your feedback and comments uh, in the comment section thank you so much